hello Sagittarius welcome to your reading so um let's get into it <laughs> Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising you could also have Scorpio in your chart here as I have Scorpio energy here and I see you're going through a very very intense time in your life um I feel like um, this is you transforming into your best self and this is also um, really expediting your spiritual growth okay a lot of things are changing for you and the universe wants you to really surrender to this change um, to really be adaptable um, I have a couple of affirmations that I pulled for you um, we have, I release myself from the expectation of others. My journey is my own, okay? And this is a lot to do with your freedom and direction. Just in general right now, it's like, where am I going? Where am I headed? And stepping into our highest, most divine self, okay? And these do have messages on the back. So it says... Everything you have experienced in life has shaped the person you are today. There is no shame. And we have, there is no human um, who knows me better than I know myself. I do not look outwardly for answers that exist within. And then we have, there will be many well-meaning people wanting to control the way in which you do life. And then we have healing and forgiveness affirmation that says, I am grateful for the lesson. I choose to grow better versus growing bitter. There is purpose in my pain. And then we have, no, you did not deserve to go through that. But in all, there was a lesson. Okay, so there's healing going on here. This could be like childhood heal healing and really ascending by moving forward and choosing the right path. So we have the six of water. Mm -hmm. Very much healing from the past and really honoring your inner child and honoring like what your what you truly want, like what your soul desire is. We have the nine of air. I feel like you could be really stressed out about um, something that has happened in the past um, that you're currently trying to heal from now. Um, <clears throat> I feel like some of you could be could maybe need to communicate with someone from your past in order to um, promote this healing. I see here with the six of water it says issues regarding children with the nine of air we also have sleepless nights some of there could be a child involved here we have the eight of air in reverse but we're trying to make sense of all of this um again there's a lot of spiritual growth happening here you are needing to kind of um, be open to what the universe is trying to convey to you at this time um, also getting out of your own head look we have a tower moment here with a life experience a significant life event a powerful revelation that leads to change time to spread your wings we have the queen of water in reverse again following your heart following your truest desire and I feel like the more that you try to not listen to your heart, not follow your true north, the more that you're going to be having these sleepless nights, the more you're going to be stuck in your head, be trapped in your own mind, be trapped in your own fears. We have the four of air time to rest or take a vacation allow more time before making a decision meditation may provide answers i feel like you're, you're needing to free yourself here 
With the nine of air, we have self-fulfilling prophecy. It's like you're really needing to go towards your truest, deepest passion. And for whatever reason, there's a lack of faith. And there's a lack of trust. I feel like you're really holding on to the past here. Look, we have the star and the sun. You're really holding on to the past here. You're you're really resisting this change and this death moment. But whatever is ending here, it's only for really um, something to renew and for something to transform. The more that you stay in the current energy, um, the more that things are just going to stay stagnant and the same you're never going to be happy with with resisting this change okay understand that you're going towards happy times you're going towards the right path because there's this need to be optimistic and positive and to really um ground down in your plans and what you want, there has to be a decision, has to be made. You have to make this decision. Listen to your intuition. Have patience and consider carefully what you want before acting. I feel like you already know what it is that you want. It's really just um, about seeing through the veil. It's really about mastering your emotions. It's really about following your heart. You have to move forward. You know, things that are not built on solid foundation here are coming apart. And this could be triggering, but it's also freeing. You're freeing yourself from, like, other people's expectations of you. I feel like you could be living other people's life. But it's time for you to live your own life. We have the Knight of Fire in reverse. It's time for you to have that passion and desire again for what you want. It's time for you to start something new. It's time for you to experience what life really has to show you. Sagittarius, please. We have prayer. Needing to pray at this time is really going to help you balance out your own chakras, balance out your body, mind, and soul. It's going to help you connect more with your intuition and be confident in your decisions. Because right now, I feel like you're really needing to, you're making decisions based on your intuition. And through this, you're going to prove to yourself and prove to the world how powerful you are. And we have recovery, recovering yourself, recovering your power, stepping into your power, recovering the keys to success, recovering that passion. <clears throat> passion is being ignited here. Okay, that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope that this helps somebody. Um, let me know in the comment section, like the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in your next reading. Bye.